And get out of here. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we survive the uh, heading downstairs portion of the adventure. One more. Cool. Alright, anybody new? I don't see anybody too exciting out here I have to worry about. Let's clear the corner here. Back to walk mode. Alright, we made it in and out. Yay! Not going over there. <laughs> Turret's just removing those vehicles at the same time as it's trying to shoot things. They got too much ammo. They'll be firing forever. So, south we go. Any particular bodies I want to run next to? Mm, no. No, let's just uh, leave well enough alone. Not tempt fate. <clears throat> Alright, we made it in and out of an apartment tower. Yay us. So, same problem. i got to decide where we're going to set up. It's not really a convenient spot for me to set up over here. Um, so I still think I'm stuck with either the ranch house or... Once again, try to quietly work my way into this little nook and uh, base out of this evac shelter. Or the garage. Base out of the garage and head from here. Bunch of bookstores and not much else. Gun store, fire station... Possible vehicles on the ground. Oh, I got a... Eh, crap. That's right, right here. Out. Bandit Bulldozer. Number three. Three Bandit Bulldozers on this. Uh... Eh. Not really an advantage to going up there versus staying down here. I also didn't get a, a lantern out of the hunting store. So if I go underground, I'm going to have to deal a lot with uh, burning wood until I get a, a lantern put together. I don't have the mid level fab book to do that. <laughs> well, I know for sure we can't stay here, so let's let's just get moving back. Take a look. <clears throat> hey there, demon spiderlings. Ah. Uh, South of the ranch. <clears throat> I like the proximity. I just don't quite like the accessibility. Proximity is good. Tucked back far enough that I wouldn't get too many visitors. And if I checked the weather, uh, I would likely be able to raid with whatever weather report I got. The further away I am, the less likely the weather is going to be equivalent. I think at the moment... I'm going to prefer that uh, that gas station over to the west. Got the uh, doors I can open and close to put the vehicle inside. I've got a little office I can use as my little base area. Doesn't have hardly any rags. Rags uh, will be the big problem. I'll have to get that elsewhere and bring it in, unfortunately. Could source some of that at the ranch on my way through. Hmm. Let's 
Still day one, 3 p.m. Um, let's head down towards the front of the ranch. I don't think I'm going to try to work my way into that evac shelter. See if the front of the ranch is still clean. I may just run in and grab a bunch of rags to toss in the storage. Take with us over to the gas station. I just know there's not much in the way of... That kind of material over there. And a zombie dog has shown up here, huh? My dog's coming to get me, is he? Come here, knife spear. Let's do some knife spear work. I got too much encumbrance. The encumbrance is making it so I can't hit nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of stamina just trying to stab this dog to death. Alright, that was pretty piss poor. <clears throat> we'll fix that eventually. Alright, so only real source of rags is going to be uh, the bed, I believe. I'm going to end up needing more. That gets me uh, a decent starting amount. <clears throat> Anything else here I care about? Oh, no. Nothing I can take apart for a 60 liter tank. Cows and horses. No water heaters or anything. Nothing in the barn. Got plenty of metal over at the other place, so yeah, I think the answer is no. Kind of wishing I had uh, checked out that other bandit bulldozer and actually pulled that jerry can now. <laughs> I'm going to have to use the jerry can for a water source, I think, temporarily. <clears throat> Alright, let's go see how many zombies are wandering around. <laughs> a lot of zombies. A whole lot of zombies. Ah, some of them are rolling north. There's the husks. Multiple husks. <laughs> it's always fun to see husks rolling around as they kill all their friend zombies. <laughs> Get too close to their electrical field. So, trail and houses, don't care. Let's go up this way. I will fill in the uh, jerry can I have with some water. Hmm. 
A little closer than I like. Maybe I won't fill it in. Try not to lead them directly to the uh, gas station. Can't stop all of the uh, light from various directions yet. Don't think these have curtains. Nope, no curtains. All right, so like I said, a little bit of wood, a little bit of metal, but uh, no rags. We'll set up in here. <clears throat> Should have brought some sheets too. Should have uh, disassembled one of those beds for sheets. But that's all right. We'll get along for now. <coughs> Worst case, I'll just sleep in the vehicle. Mm, all right, nothing else really in here. We got uh, some bathrooms down here. I don't remember if the toilets have water or not. I'm not really going to worry about it. How much did we get in the jerry can? 40? 40 will do. Um... I'll probably actually end up setting up in here. That way I've got three ways in and out in case something shows up. I like having options. I don't like having one way in and out if I board these up or whatever. I like having options. I don't need a lot of space initially. So that's probably what I'll do is I'll set up in there. That uh, completely blocks line of sight in every direction. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Hello, big crap pile of crap. Hundred and thirty-four pounds, hundred and thirty-two liters. And the vehicle's empty. get light without stepping out into a whole lot of and eh, that's not too bad right there a little bit of a sliver north and northeast and southwest
actually... <laughs> Apparently, it, uh, a little bit of a struggle to move this stuff. That's interesting. But can be done, just be a little tougher than sometimes than others. <clears throat> that far out there. Alright, that blocks line of sight that way. Yeah, I knew about the note about changing it so anybody could drag furniture. I wasn't aware that um, sometimes it would move, sometimes it wouldn't. I'm not sure that the straining is is having other effects, but it uh, can slow you down, it looks like, which is fine. Um... <laughs> That's interesting. It actually takes those with you now, huh? Alright. I thought usually in the past it left the items, but um, that works. Alright, so we've got a table to craft on. <clears throat> we'll throw the... Uh, let's see, how do I want to set this up? in the corner. I need light in order to craft. We do the uh, firewood source there. Yeah, I think that'll work temporarily. <clears throat> All right. Do, do, do. So we got our um, fire containment. We got our wood pile. Got our water. Got a crafting table. Um. I'm going to not use that room for now. quite a way to get <clears throat> light where I want it without that's probably the best right there back out to the southwest is the only thing that can see me if I board those up that'll prevent the line of sight that direction So, planks and nails for that. That's going to take a while to get all that done. I'm not too worried about it right now. <clears throat> Depends on how long I plan on being here, too.
All right. Um, what are we looking at? So we've got guns. We've got the acetylene tank. So I can do welding once we get a little skill. Um... I think it's likely any strength will be able to move things to prevent certain edge case problems that might occur with either map gen or, or various issues. It's just that you're going to fail a lot more to move it. It's going to take a lot more attempts per space with low strength. <clears throat> the lower, the more failures you get. But probably, like, even a three strength character can actually get it done eventually. It's just going to have a whole lot of fails before it actually moves. That, I believe, is how they've probably got it set up. Um, Alright, so what did we accomplish day one? Um, quite a lot. Quite a lot. I've got some food. I don't have any bulk food, but we got enough to get us through the first day or so. I should probably pop open those first aid kits and start grabbing out some gear. We are running uh, Imperceptive Healer, so I got to be careful about that damage. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that. Let's activate both of those and pick out a few items. Alright, let's grab uh, six of those and one of those. Let the rest heal on its own. Have our orange juice. Didn't need more metal anytime soon. No other wood in here except for the counters just south of me. Go ahead and get those broke up. Alright, I think that's all the raw materials I care about. Oh, one more counter. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, it's just a baseball bat. That'll take care of it. <clears throat> Alright, short of taking doors down, we've now got all of the wood we're going to get out of this place. Hopefully I can transition to something better than uh, burning planks for light pretty quick. Um... So the desire, I guess, right now is to uh, do some crafting slash reading. Wait for nightfall, see if we get a really lucky uh, clear skies, and we can head into town and do some freeform looting. Hit the bookstores, hit the electronic stores, hit the uh, subways for the mass amount of vending machines the multiple levels of the subways have. Hardware store, yeah, just all sorts of places. So. I do want to try to spend as much time as I can leveling up. Uh, mm, we're already max level that we need to be on our spear skill, so it's just generally leveling up the uh, weapon type melee skills and uh, then also the magic stuff, the technomancer stuff specifically, as much as we can. But we got to locate some more books, some more spells, more useful spells. We don't have that many. So... Deciding if I want to do that right now. <clears throat> um, <laughs> really warm still. I'm wearing a lot of clothes. All right, let's let's pair that down real quick. So, let's see, trench coat go away, hoodie go away. Oh, 
let lava go away. Alright, so all the temperatures are back under control. We've got a little bit of carry capacity, good enough for a run around in here. Um, Think about this. I'm not sure what order I want to try to tackle things in here. The imperceptive healer. I need to get first aid to three as quick as possible. Just so I get the healing, the bandaging bonus. After that, I, uh, I'm not sure. If I try to minimize some of this general grind that I usually do to try to maximize the magic stuff, I'm going to have to get two more books that have useful spells in them. The bookstores have been having pretty good luck on a lot of the early books, so there's three bookstores up here, it looks like. And at least one recycling center that might have general books, but not often magic books. Hmm. Let's do some reading. Let's um, at least get the first aid stuff done. <laughs> I've even got the filter mask on and I'm still getting uh, smoke inhalation and coughing. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, yeah, look at that. I, I don't have any food, so food's definitely going to be a problem. We're going to have to stock up again like I usually do. We'll do that one, and we'll start in on the chicken. And... Do I have anything to hold the water? I'm not sure I do. One plastic bottle. Hmm. All right, that's good enough for now. All right, full and hydrated. Um, ooh, 10 p.m. Put the fire out. Uh, never mind. I can already. I don't have to go outside the building. I can see it's drizzling, so we don't have clear skies currently. I would have terrible night vision right now. So, be a little more careful. I don't have that much fire making capability currently. <laughs> Let's do... What, what am I missing? Yeah, I need fab skill before I can put a bed together anyway. So, fab or more first aid. Let's do... Did I already get Fab 1? 82%. Didn't make it to Fab 1 yet. Fab 1. <clears throat> <laughs> True. But 
Problem being, it's a yucky druid spell. <laughs> Not as bad as an animist. Yeah, if I ever find the Nature's Bow book. <clears throat> Which ones was I thinking of doing? I was thinking of doing... Um, yeah, like I said, I waffled between Druid and Biomancer. I'm going to go Storm Shaper instead of Kelvinist because I haven't done Storm Shaper before. If I go Animist, I just I can't stand the uh, summon spells for Animist. I know it's got some other stuff too, but uh, I hate the Animist. Just for those summon spells that I cannot figure out a way of actually making any use of. We're already locked in Technomancer, so we're Shaper's out. So if it's, what, Druid, Technomancer... Storm Shaper, and then, like I said, it's Animus or Magus. I don't know. Might have to wait and consider that. Let's do this other stuff first. I need to get these early levels stuff done. And 25. Not tired yet. Let's read. Um, I think it's actually faster for me to craft Fab still. Uh, knitting needles. Three minutes each. What's my focus? 44. I don't have much in the way of things to change my focus directly. Only a very minus hot morale negative. Yeah, I can't really help that much. Building would be a lot faster to do it this way. What are we up to? Two more. I ran out of splintered wood. 90%. Hmm. Kind of a problem. Oh, I ran out of uh, components to finish that last batch, which might have done it. Um, disassemble. I'm not going to do it that way, are you? Alright. No. Give me uh, three planks. Four percent. That's not going to be enough. Come on. All right, Fab Two. <clears throat> I had that uh, intermediate fab book. If I can push the fab real fast, I can get the uh, gasoline liner put together, which is my preferred light source. I think we're gonna. 11.30, still drizzling. Let's switch to. More first aid. Let's get to the second level of first aid. Oh. That 
that's that's good. I saw it switch to clear and immediately stopped. Let's go check the actual outside weather real quick. Whoa! Hey there, Mr. Zombie. Um, what the hell are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in the area. Train something to level one. I love it how the knife spear, we took that nick of damage the very first swing we ever did with it, and then it's been fine since then. Did we gain a level of something? I thought we gained a level of something. Maybe not. Alright, so yeah, it's clear weather. I gotta take advantage of this, this vision range. Uh, but let's look at the sky. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. We just got this little tiny patch of clear weather. No way is that going to last. Maybe I could get up to those houses and take a look around real quick before the weather cleared. Um, I need some more carry capacity if I'm going to do that. Which... I guess that's going to have to be enough. Uh, let's see. What else can we leave behind? Even the books. Keep the tools with me. Leave the towel. Nah, I gotta start keeping the towel. Guess that's it. Alright, let's uh, see if we do get an opportunity to do this. Hopefully we get a little tiny bit of time we can take advantage of. Hey you, follow me north. Get away from my little base area. Oh, uh, 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 put that away. And... Yes. Alright, so remember there was an ambulance up here too. Let's check this. AR-15! I'll take an AR. Thank you very much. Perfect condition AR. Even if I do have to load it with some ammo. Do you actually operate? Broken security. Diesel's good. Battery's good. Engine is faulty and drive belt and diesel pump. Yeah, not going to move without the diesel pump. All right, so can't drive that. Ambulance, unfortunately, has got smoke zombie in the area, if not multiple smoke zombies. Um, and it's infested. Oh, it's really infested. <laughs> Two spaces in back. What do we got? Oh. Uh, Thorazine, Adrenaline, Morphine, and Hemio. Well, that would have been more exciting last run, but we'll take it. Alright, so ambulance is clear. Check the weather again. Yeah, it's right on the edge. <laughs> um, that's one of those boarded up houses, huh? Ah, that's right, I can't see inside. I don't have the night vision. All right, let's go with the flashlight. Hey, you zombies! Uh, I don't like that arrangement. Oh, another uh, security van with another weapon. We're gonna lose the vision range here any second if I keep pushing. USP, I don't need a USP. Nine mil rounds. I'm not likely to ever run out of nine mil rounds. What is, uh, what is this? Another one? <laughs> this is security van central here. Three security vans and an ambulance on this little road section. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, all right, we gotta go with the flashlight while we're inside.
Hey, there's zombies. No, uh, no good stuff. Need the blankets. And I should take some curtains. Or some sheets, I mean. Gonna need those. Ah, no window on either of these walls. Alright, that's fine. Oh, we lost the light. <laughs> the drizzle cut back into the area. That's not good. got our fire taken care of. Great coat, great coat. Uh, no to the great coat. Don't need the standard pot. Uh, all right, I haven't been in that one or that one or that one yet either. All right, let's go back south from here, I think. More oxy. <clears throat> all right, somebody waiting for me. Wrench! Wrench, wrench, wrench! Alright, yay, wrench! We got one of the other major tools. Now we just need the hacksaw. Yeah, I figured there was somebody in here. Hey, <laughs> teleported downstairs again. Uh, sewer rat, sewer rat. Dodge training. <laughs> That rat's going to get killed by all these zombies, though. Nothing really down here I care about. Yep. Do-do-do-do-do. From there. Go ahead and turn that back off. Saline, please. And pickle veggie jar and other basements. Ah, another gunsmith basement. Well, uh oh, I think I heard something. Yeah, occupied. One survivor zombie so far. <laughs> another wrench. Why well, couldn't it have been a hacksaw? Come over here, zombies. Leave that door alone. What's in here? 629, an Uzi, SKS, Mossberg, Walther, all that sucks. Yeah, hate all that. More 9 mil, 45, if I wanted the uh, 629. 
40 caliber, or more shotgun slug. That makes me happy. <laughs> 44 magnum. Two, two, three rounds for my uh, my rifle we just picked up. Shoulder strip or shoulder strap for grip. All right, pretty cool stuff. Um, unfortunately, I used up a lot of my stamina. Not sure I've got enough space. I think we might have to come back for this one. here for now. We'll come back for this stuff. Alright, safe mode on. You want to wait here for a second? Oh, somebody's coming for me. <laughs> Guess we're not going to wait. I'm going to follow my scent trail probably farther than I would like. Uh, don't follow me all the way down to the gas station, you punks. Let's go all the way down. Hopefully they lose track before then, and then we'll come back up. All right, not a bad trip. Lost the vision a little early, but uh, we got an AR and we know where some reload ammo for it is. I don't think I have any other. Did I already grab some? Ooh, I already did grab some. We got 60 rounds sitting here already and another 30 up there, so we got 90 rounds for the AR. Um, Use the standard load first, please. There we go. We got a, um, not a long range gun, it's kind of a medium range, but I don't usually engage for much further than that, unless I'm going after turrets, which I don't usually do in the daylight, anyway, so, 44 and 2 is a good number, I'll take it. We got a good uh, shotgun firing slug ammo for heavy, heavy duty damage up front, or up close, and then we got the AR for medium range, kaboom, and I don't much care about pistols usually. But yeah, there's several more items we're definitely going to go get in there. So we also got uh, brought back some some sheets so I can get a bed put together as soon as I get a little more fab. Actually, I might be able to do a makeshift at two. I forget exactly what level I need to be at. Um, What else did we get? We got some pain meds, tiny bit of food, blankets, the wrench, most important. Just about get rid of the multi-tool. Alright, and that lighter. That nice lighter. So, yay! Uh, 1242, unfortunately, Drizzle closed in on me. I was really hoping to get a good first night full moon clear skies so we could do some real looting. I don't think we're likely to get another opportunity. I think sleeping might be the best bet. Makeshift bed. Oh, we can do it now. Fab 2. <coughs> Makeshift bed is perfectly fine for me. So... I... I put it in this corner? Might... Uh, just end up extinguishing it, so any, it doesn't really matter where I put it, I guess. Alright, that's a uh, flashlight on. And. Makeshift bed. Which door do I want to block? Eh, put it right up north of me. Use the sheets, please. I need the blanket. Alright. 
there to there. Blankets and pillow. So we got our bed, blanket, and pillow ready to go. Um, we got our nice little cozy nook. All I need is a better light source, and I'll be pretty happy with our location. Just going to be a matter of keeping the zombies out of here. Go ahead and have some more chicken. And some cabbage. Alright, full of turgid tired. I really should flip my day-night cycle. I have terrible night vision. <clears throat> Reading during the day is hard, much, much, much harder than at night. Um, with my movement and speed, I can I can do a lot of raiding at night with a flashlight on, as you saw me doing just now. I can uh, selectively turn it off and on as needed to uh, highlight when I really need it. Or I hang out and do skill-ups while I wait for a better opportunity with a clear sky. We got about a week. We got about six, six seven days before the moon transitions enough that we won't really get a benefit so <laughs> save the sewer rat no <laughs> not just one if it was more than one maybe but there was too many zombies in there for this early guy to try to do but that wasn't gonna work all right um I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap things up right here for the night. We're, we're coming up on seven hours. And uh, a lot of my energy enthusiasm uh, dissipated in the first hour when we had that unfortunate end to the uh, the earlier challenge. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat, have some happy food, have some happy drink, and recover my, uh, recover my spirits. So uh, this one's going fine. Uh, we should be able to do some interesting stuff with this one. Uh, I really want to focus on the magic and trying to take advantage of the sojutsu. I gotta check also what what better spear line items we can get access to fairly quickly. Um, we don't have the wood spear listed. Pipe spear. We need a full hammer in order to make the pipe spear. I've got the torch, so actually that's interesting. But that's not fragile. And that's actually got a pretty good pierce and uh, other abilities. So as soon as I can get a full hammer together, we can get the uh, the pipe spear put together, and that'll actually be a big upgrade for uh, our sujutsu. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe a dodge build with Sojutsu and the, um, the magic stuff as much as possible. I'm going to try to avoid and cut corners as much as I can for my normal processes so we can really focus on that stuff. See how well we can do, uh, just relying on that as much as possible. But that's it for this evening. Thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate the, uh, the time and the support. And I'll be back on Monday to continue this particular playthrough. I'll be on the weekend with some other stuff. So hope to see you then. And uh, check out my Discord if you want to keep track of what I'm doing, what I'm doing it. Hope to see you later. Have a good evening.